popping, clicking, and painful shoulder, stop before you get a cortisone injection. You could have a labral tear, and usually the labral tear is accompanied by a whole bunch of other problems. But let's get you the victory in spite of it. I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm a chiropractor. I work with manual therapy, shoulder stabilization exercises, and the piezo wave to prevent you from needing a surgery. You know, the labrum of your shoulder is a cartilage structure that encircles your shoulder socket, or what's called the glenoid fossa. This next part is a key to your healing. Your biceps tendon and glenohumeral ligaments attach to your labrum. So these structures can play a role in your healing. When a force is applied to these mechanical structures over time, or suddenly it can cause your labrum to tear. So your biceps is attached right up to that labrum. So that biceps contraction or adhesions in your biceps can pull on that labrum. This can happen from repetitive movements also like throwing a ball or swinging a racket. The four types of labral injuries are slap tears, anterior tears, posterior tears, or what's called bank heart tears but let's focus on a slap tear. The slap tear, like I was saying, is where the biceps tendon pulls and it pulls that labrum off of the bone. And then what happens is weakness, popping, clicking, pain, inflammation. And then there are other structures involved like the supraspinatus tendon or the acromioclavicular joint. And so what we do is with this machine is incredible. So we put this on here, this is called the piezo wave. It is low energy focused shock wave. So I can send a precise blade of sound into your tissues. Let's say it's the biceps tendon. And then what happens is it'll go in there and break up scar tissue, send in new blood vessels into the area and cause that tendon to heal and not pull so much on the labrum. And then we add shoulder stabilization exercises. You gotta do them. There's no way out of it with a shoulder injury. You can't just come in with a pill, a potion, or even an amazing machine and not do the exercises. So I have a whole library of shoulder videos to help you stabilize that shoulder. Is the shoulder going to be like when you were 18 again? No, but will it be radically better? And in fact, you might even forget it's there until you try and lift a 400 pound weight. Yes, it can be much, much better. In fact, there'll be histological changes, actual collagen growth. This stimulates what's called chondrocytes, which produce collagen. When, when somebody's getting a cortisone injection, it does the opposite. It causes chondrocyte, what's called apoptosis, or death of those cells. We want to regenerate rather than degenerate. You might be asking yourself, well, wait, I, did, I haven't had an MRI. How do we know what's going on? Are we going to be able to find it? Well, what happens with this machine is it goes in at that prescribed depth, and we know where we are and what structure we're on, and you will feel it. Your body will give you feedback. You'll actually have pain when we're on the right spot, and that's where those adhesions are being broken up, and that's where that blood is being brought into the area. So you will have, it's almost, it's diagnostic, and, and it creates biofeedback during the treatment. It's very encouraging. Check out this study, High Prevalence of Superior Labral Tears diagnosed by MRI in middle-aged patients with asymptomatic shoulders. So this study shows that over half of 45 to 60-year-olds have a labral tear right in here. That's amazing. I mean, just feel right now, feel that biceps tendon of yours right now and say, really push on it. Do some cross-fiber massage. Is there any tenderness in there? Chances are it might be a little bit inflamed. You might have a little bit of a tendinopathy there that is pulling on that labrum. Check out this next study. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy in shoulder injuries to evaluate the functional results of the use of ESWT in four groups of patients, tendinopathy, partial rotator cuff injury, adhesive capsulitis, and calcareous tendinopathy of the rotator cuff. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy proved to be efficient and safe in the treatment of shoulder pathologies, improving pain, range of motion, and functional scores in all groups of patients evaluated. Let's team up with the piezo wave, manual therapy, and some rehab exercises and get you feeling like you could pull a tree out of the ground.